So guys, what am I doing today? Well, today I'm going to be doing a review on both of the Bradley Moors, the 52 and the 36. Uh, uh, I've been talking about doing this for a while now. I decided I'd go ahead and pull them out, get them ready, and go ahead and do it. So here it goes, guys. And I believe I'll start here with the with the 36. And they're bo bo both, if you want to know the truth, they are both uh, pretty similar mowers. Um, they're, let me say this, they are pros and they are cons about anything that you do or that you deal with. And um, I'm just a kind of a not complaining kind of a person. I don't complain a whole lot about anything because I know that anything that you spend your money on or you buy, it's going to be something that you eventually may not like about it. But with these mowers, guys, you know, like I say, when I bought the mowers, I did my research on them, and um, I knew everything basically about them when I bought them. The only thing I didn't know is how they were going to perform, but I had seen them in other videos. I knew a guy here across the river that had one, the only one that I've seen in this area, so I got a chance to see it. So I pretty much knew what I was getting. So let's look at the 36. If I had to say there was anything about the more that I don't like, and, that, and that's that's both of them, uh, it would have to be the front wheels. I would really rather have uh, run flats rather than tires that you have to inflate that can possibly go on a flat coast. This wheel right here, that one on the 52, I had to uh, get fixed. I had to get a plug put in. But let's take a look at this 36. If you see, uh, you got right here, you got your choke, you got your thrall, you got your PTO, and your key switch. And, 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 and these are pretty nicely laid out mowers, guys. Now, I would really rather, I, uh, some people would really rather have the battery under here. But to me, to me, that's, that's, that's not a bad place because it's really convenient when you need to change it out. It's right there on the side and it's not hurting anything. So I don't, I don't really have a problem with it. I like the fact that it, it has these, these uh, knobs, these adjusting knobs on here. You can take these out and clean that out, wash it out in there where your where, where belts are and things. You can get to your belts and change them out or tighten them up or do whatever you need to do to it. Uh, like the engine, I think that's a, a 36, I think that's a lot of power. 25 horsepower, 724 cc engine. Uh, when I first got them, you, you had to put the hydraulic. Now, it was one right against both of these mowers, and that was that it didn't have a uh, meter on Well, an hour meter. Look, right there, there's the hour meter. So, it, 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 it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty well intact. Here's your platform that you stand on, right here. It's very supportive. It's got a lot of springs, it, it, you, you stand up on it. it, it, it the moors are just, they're, they're, it, I don't have a lot of complaint about it. You know, I like the chute cover. I like that big chute cover on it. And you know, it's just, it, 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 these are good moments, guys. I, I've been getting uh, uh, comments about them. How is it rattling? Do you like, do they perform well? Is, is it worth the money? Guys, it's worth the money and then something. And here's the 52, same thing, 52. Take a look at this engine. That's a, that's a lot of engine guys and, and I hear a lot of guys saying that they don't care for Briggs. I have no problem with Briggs. I have a Briggs on my Proturn, you know. I'm, I'm about to get another um, engine to go on my Cub Cadet. It very well could be a Briggs. That's a, a lot of engine guys. That's 810 cc's, 27 horsepower. Man, that's, 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 that's a monster. This whole entire mower, guys, it, it, it's a monster. 
and I'm sure you saw the video where I did the adjustment on my handles and now they're right where I need them uh, this one is it's pretty much like the 36 uh, and I actually thought this one I would use the 36 to go in the backyard more than I would have the 52 but man look I've got 34 hours there's the meter I've got 34 hours on this uh, 52 because I man I've been enjoying it man the same thing here here's your platform and, and, and I mean you, you you can't go wrong guys uh, you know not do that mean that I, I'm not a gravely guy anymore no it doesn't mean that I love my pro my, my, my standalone grave but now I, I have two standalone Bradley so uh, and the same thing here I, I would rather have run flats on these front wheels I really would I would rather have run flats if I had to say if I had to say something that I don't like about these mowers that's it it's the two front wheels other than that guys I'm I am really really pleased I'm really pleased with these mowers now uh, uh, one other thing if I had to say that I don't like is the gas tanks and the gas tanks you have to go under your pad here to get to the gas tanks don't really like that there's the gas tank up under your pad and you get to this battery underneath here and some so I heard someone say it didn't have a gas meter and that's a gas meter right there so There it is, guys. The standalone, both of the standalone Bradley, the 36 and the 52. And again, these are really good mowers. And uh, I don't think you can lose with them. There they are. Hey guys, thank y'all for watching my video. Y'all like to subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. I'm still on here, what we do, guys. See you on the next one.